Hey guys, welcome to this training for main stage and Omnisphere. And I hope that you benefit a lot from it. I'm new on the journey for learning how to operate the software. So basically, as you already know, it is a fairly inexpensive software you can download onto your Macintosh computer. And I'm using this keyboard here to uh, control the software. I'm actually playing. The sounds aren't coming from the keyboard. They're going in via USB. And I'm using this little nano controller uh, device to help me actually control the sounds that are inside main stage. And we're going to teach you later on on how to access all those controls and how to set them up. First, let me just uh, kind of whet your appetite for the what's possible. This first sound here is called the giant. It's actually a sample of a, uh, an upright piano in Germany that's three or four meters tall, the biggest piano in the world. And they've sampled this for months and months and months at a time, uh, very, very carefully to put it into some of the most expressive software you'll, you'll ever imagine. Now, I love to play a real live grand piano, but this is, this is so expressive. Wow. You can, you can feel those strings vibrating, can't you? It's just magnificent. So that's, that's called the Giant. It's just, it's just like um, a plug-in that you put into main stage to actually get that quality of piano sound. Here's another one. This is actually called the Jesus Culture Pad. And the moment you play it, you've got this expression and this atmosphere that just wraps around you. And again, very sensitive to the touch. One of my favorite sounds. Uh, one of the string sounds I've enjoyed using from Omnisphere is this one here, Adagio strings. We're going to talk later on in the training how to, how to voice these strings. Wow, that's pretty cool. And then to really modern sounds, um, like you set up a bit of a loop and a latch here. I mean, that's just, it's got great rhythm. It's set to 130 BPM. And it makes you want to play something lively. Nice dirty kind of rose. Then add some motion sound to that. You just hear the sparkle of life in there. And a massive trance sound to join that. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it just, it just goes on and on. You, just, you, you want to play with creative sounds like that. Uh, here's a, um, a sound that's got that pad that I was talking about before, the Jesus Culture Pad, mixed with a piano. And then in the left hand, the lower left hand, it's got this loop and this rhythm sound that triggers on certain notes. And we'll show you how to do that as well. So again, a great sound. Uh, Coldplay have recently released an album that uses a lot of Omnisphere sounds. I always wanted to sing like an angel, and for the first time I can. Wow. Don't you wish you could sing like that? Just beautifully sampled voices. So we've got some latch sounds going on. Then put another beefy, uh, robust kind of rhythm with it. Wow. 
push it out again. Again, and each node has disappeared because we've taken it off latch. Um, here's some layered sounds that a friend of mine put together, and they're, they're a combination of uh, simple synth sounds and then some layers of rhythm. So check this out again. And straight away you feel the atmosphere of that. Bring in the second sound, the second layer with that. The third layer of more uh, voice kind of sounds. Pull out the second layer. Just have more of the first layer in there. I don't know about you, but that's really expressive. Don't you find that expressive? And again, some more modern kind of sounds. Here's some tenths that have been programmed, and we'll show you how to do this in main stage. Play one finger and get two notes. That's cheating, is it? We can really play it. Again, add some big sounds in beside that. You've got... So it's, it's all at your fingertips. I love the way that this just is so uh, creative. Listen to this as an introduction I used to one of the songs. Just a big low C. You've got a pulsating rhythm. It's just an aggressive and almost angry sounding. 80s kind of. That's cool. Another sound, a friend of mine wrote this song that uses a pulsating left hand kind of string sound with a piano on top. expressive sound. Here's another sound that I use quite often. It's a piano with a, a pad or a nice warm pad and a motion sound that kind of just sits way in the distance behind that. You can hear when I put the sustain pedal down. That's the giant. That's the, the giant piano samples that even the sustain pedal has its own. So that motion sound that's way in the background, I can blend it in a bit more. Now one more function I want to just show you here, and that's uh, some Omni latch patches that we've set up here. You can see it opening on the screen here right now. Uh, and it's got latch mode engaged, so I could just go through these and layer up some sounds together. Let's see what happens here. So that's one note, right? Go to the next sound. A piano swell. Mid-range echoes. So you can hear a building, like just, you don't have to be highly musical to even get a great sound going here. It's like uh, being a bit of a DJ. Resonant space clip. Wow. What a sound. Pulsing resonance. Grooving melotro. <laughs> Hang on. Metal something anyway. Metal phone. And on top of all that, pulling that string sound. string. That's pretty sweet. Here's one more that's uh, same kind of idea but it's a uh, more of a contemporary latching mode. Uh, it just shows how big a sound you can, you can create within just moments here. Here we go.
Juicy sample and hold. <laughs> Again, it's like this breathing light. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that cool? So, uh, the thing is, I want you to enjoy this journey like I have been. So, we're going to break this down in the following lessons of how to actually access these sounds, control these sounds, manipulate them, layer them, uh, make it easy for you to, from your existing keyboard or a controller keyboard, control all the sounds inside of your computer through main stage and omnisphere. Hey, enjoy the journey. <laughs>